Hello, everybody. This is Naeem from Rope Pakistan, and I'm working as Advocacy Policy Manager here. And today I'm going to share with you some of the findings of our uh, research in coal mines, where people and their donkeys work together to earn a living. Before we go into the study details, let me show you a short video that may uh, explain the context of uh, the the area and the issue that here we go Thank you very much, everybody, for watching this. Uh, the, the study highlighted four key reasons why we need uh, one welfare approach, and here we will discuss one by one. The first reason was that coal mines are unsafe environments for people as well as for animals. You can see in this photo a young guy unloading his donkey uh, and unloading the coal. You can see the conditions, work conditions. 87% people reported the death of one or more equids in the past year. You can see the photo, uh, dead donkey is visible. 48% of coal miners had witnessed a serious incident in the mines. And these serious incidents include electric shocks, uh, flooding, poisonous gases, and some other. 18% had experienced the collapse of a mine within the last year. You can have a look of the mine from inside where donkeys are traveling and coming out, uh, having load, coal load on their back. 93% of coal miners reported that they were not provided with personal protective equipment. You can see this young guy, he has no helmet to wear for safety. He doesn't we wear uh, the gloves and you can have a look of the shoes not at all uh, any protective shoes but uh, just wearing a soft thing the second reason is the coal mine workers including human and animals live in unsuitable accommodations and have little access to sanitation you can see an animal is drinking water and you can see the quality of water from this photo and people are also having the same kind of water. 80% reported their accommodation was made from poor quality materials exposed to adverse conditions. You can see the accommodation of these people where a young guy is sitting in front of the accommodation after the work. 61% reported there were no washrooms and a photo is depicting how people are taking bath after work in an open area and you see the sanitation conditions and cleanliness situation there. And if there were some uh, covered washrooms, they were far away. As a result, 38% people preferred open defecation. The other issue was 98% referred to the water they consumed as unsafe. You can see the photo on the left side highlighting the water. It is simply in a trough and covered with wooden planks open to all kinds of debris and open uh, environment. It is not at all safe and clean. The third reason was that working equids and humans do face poor health and welfare conditions. 19% equids had skin broken lesions. You can see one of the photos 
there were more miserable uh, conditions and uh, these kind of photos, but I avoided those photos and chosen only this one. The animals were lame. You can see 79% of quids were lame. It's a huge ratio because of the, uh, the work conditions. Uh, there are rocks everywhere and they have to face these kind of challenges. 49% of quids were thin and uh, they were not provided with the uh, proper feed. As a result, they are having very thin body condition. On human side, 80% coal miners reported respiratory problems. 63% people reported fever as their main challenge and 36% reported gastrointestinal issues as the most common. Fourth and last uh, reason why we say that uh, there is a need of uh, one welfare approach is about the issue of social security benefits. The labor is working over there and is entitled to have some benefits from the government, but they are not being provided those benefits. 84% had not imply old, old age benefit institutional cards that means they will not have access on pension on their in retirement and disability or survival pension. 57% reported taking out a loan. You know, when there is uh, no uh, government support, uh, the, on, on other side, harsh work and low wages, people have to move towards taking loan. And when they take loan, uh, that pushes them towards border labor. Not many mentioned, but 21% reported that they feel as they are bonded because they cannot move unless uh, they pay off uh, their debt. And, and only if they want to move to an, another mine or another work area, they, will, they can move only when they will pay back the loan. The other thing is when they borrow loan, they will not be uh, provided the minimum wage rate, or rather they will be provided less wages. In short, the environment and working conditions of the coal mines impact both human and animal workers. And, you know, we need an inclusive approach to uh, fix these issues. The people are dependent on these animals for their livelihood, and these animals are dependent on their owners so that they may provide them the uh, appropriate uh, feed and uh, the veterinary care in case they need. And then they may provide them those welfare conditions where they can have improved health and welfare. You know, for this, uh, we think that only one welfare approach will work over here. In this diagram, we have highlighted that who are the key stakeholders and key players, and, and if they work in isolation, the issue can't be resolved. The first of all, government livestock department who is responsible to provide services to the livestock and these equids. Then mine labor welfare dep departments who are responsible to provide welfare support services to the equine owners, they need to work together. They are working in isolation and nobody knows who is doing what. Then it comes mine owner association. This is a mine owner's body uh, and they, they basically get together and uh, work for their, their own profits. And then there is a labor union who basically work for the labor rights, we believe that they all should sit together and come up with a, an inclusive approach, one welfare approach, uh, because animal and human are dependent on each other. So we recommend this one. Thank you very much, everybody.